Hello, welcome to Candy Shop Yarns, where everything is sugar-free and high in fiber. I am Deborah, your confectionery extraordinaire, and I'm here to share all things new in the candy shop right now. Um, I just recently released a new collection. It is my Glitz and Glam Barbies collection, 1980s edition. And so I want to share all about that with you. If you have seen the previous video to this, there's a really fun um, kind of slideshow video you can watch where you can see up close details about it, but I want to tell you a little bit more about each colorway. This is a 10 skein collection broken up into two parts. So the first part is glitz consisting of five skeins on a crystalline sparkle base. And then the second one is glam, which are five colorways on my simple syrup base, which is a non-sparkle base. So I'm going to show you the Barbies that they're based on and the colorways. So let's start. It's really based on the Barbies outfit because they're pretty fabulous. I'm a child of the 80s. I even wore my appropriate earrings for today. So here we first have, this one is my, oh, this one is already like the top seller. This one is Crystal Barbie. And Crystal Barbie is a white dress, but it's actually iridescent. So the way you turn it, it reflects purples, pinks, and blues. And that's what the yarn does. It's very pale purple, pinks, and blues on a sparkle base. So the sparkle base I call my crystalline, crystalline sock base. And this one is silver sparkle. And it has 438 yards for 100 grams, 75% superwash merino, 20% nylon, and 5% um, stellina, which is the sparkle on it. That one is such a fun um, colorway. And I even have a shop sample for you, which I'm going to put on the screen right now. This is Fernanda, and she knit this sweater. I'm going to put the details on the screen of the sweater. She looks fabulous and the sweater looks amazing in this yarn. She did such a good job. You can find her podcast um, uh, on YouTube. It is called Little Monkeys and Me. She's also on Instagram as Little Monkeys and Me. The next Barbie that we have right here. Oh, this was one of my favorites growing up because look at the stars. Let's see, we'll take off her wrap. The stars glow in the dark. I remember being mesmerized by this feature. And let's show you the yarn. It has the deep magentas that reflect the deep magenta bodice with pale pinks that reflect the skirt. And once again, it is on my crystalline sock base with a silver sparkle, which you can see in the camera. Oh, it's reflecting beautifully there. The next colorway in the Glitz collection, the Glitz um, part of this collection, <laughs> this one's fun. This one is Dance Magic Barbie. She's pretty fabulous. The underskirt comes off to show her short skirt so she can transition from ball gown to nightclub Barbie, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> so here is the yarn. And of course, we've got very pale pinks to reflect the underskirt and the top of her bodice. White and then flecks of blue for her eyeshadow because what 80s Barbie isn't complete without bright blue eyeshadow. This one is also on the crystalline sock base, which is a silver sparkle. Fun duo there. This one is my favorite in this um, five part collection. This one, let's reveal, is Peaches and Cream Barbie. I mean, she's arguably the most iconic 1980s Barbie where she smelled like peaches. I remember opening her up on Christmas morning and smelling that peach scent. Oh, I loved it. And then, of course, her boa. And if you look at the layers, it's layers of peach 
orange, neon, soft colors. And so just depending on how you turn it and move it, the color shifts, which is what the yarn does. You can see that there's pale pinks, oranges, peaches in there. Of course, on the crystal and sock base with gold Stellina. You can see that sparkle. Oh, it's beautiful. And the last one in this five part collection of the glitz is Wedding Fantasy Barbie. She has this ivory dress that reflects gold highlights. And of course her bouquet that's a pale pinky peach color. And that's what the yarn does. It's a ivory base with the peachy pink color blended throughout. And this one is on the crystalline sock base with a gold sparkle. So that is the five, that's five of the colorways from the glitz part. There we go. And now we're gonna move on to glam. So glam, who remembers this Barbie? Another one of the iconic Barbies. This one is Loving You Barbie. Of course, she has the fabulous 80s poofy sleeves with these velvety hearts on the sheer overlay. And here is the corresponding colorway. And this is on the Simple Syrup base. It has 400 yards to 100 grams, 80% superwash merino, 20% nylon. Love this one. The second one, I, I think anyone who has seen Toy Story, Toy Story 2, I believe, or is it three? Now I'm trying to remember, will recognize this colorway. I actually need to grab it. Okay, got it, here we go. Oh, oh no, her headphones came off. <laughs> This one right here is Great Shape Barbie. Great Shape Barbie came with gym shoes and a gym bag. And here is the colorway. This one is actually a sock set. And it has a 20 gram mini and another 20 gram mini that coordinates with that. And I have it knit up. I'm going to grab that one. I love how it micro stripes. This one was a 64 stitch sock tube that I made into an afterthought everything sock where you cut in the heel and the toe and pick up stitches to knit the cuff. And I did one, two, three, four, five rounds of yellow before I finished with the pink and I did um, on the heel and then on the toe I did six rounds of yellow and on the cuff I did six rounds of yellow first. I love how that looks. So here's our Great Shape Barbie sock set. The next one that we have is I'm going to leave it in the package here because it's easier to see. We have Barbie and the Rockers. Here is the corresponding yarn. This one is also on the Simple Syrup base. And you can see that just deep and vibrant pink with a dark purple fleck throughout that is um, from the belt on her skirt. Love that one. I actually knit something using Barbie and the Rockers and Peaches and Cream together. It's actually a crochet pattern. I said knit, but it's crochet. It's a cro it's the Dotty Cowl by Malabrigo. 
and it's a reversible cowl. It's a new technique that I haven't used before where it's a double crochet, so it's reversible. And this one took one skein of each colorway. And mine is a little bit more narrow. I had a tighter gauge and I didn't make it quite as tall, but oh, I love this one. This one's very cute. The next colorway, the next Barbie we have, I just tossed this over, oh, nobody cares. <laughs> The next one that we have here is Magic Moves Barbie. She has this beautiful cape and I took the original Barbie out and put a different one in because she had kind of nasty hair, but it's kind of fun. She had a button on her back and she would raise her arms to push down the hood on her dress. And she's just a fun, fun Barbie. And so here is the colorway. And we've got some specks of deep silver that reflect the silver on her waistband and neckband. And it's just a tonal white and teal color. And we have one more in the Glam series. Okay. I'm not taking her out of the box. She's in the box right now. This one is Island Fun Nico. And here is the corresponding yarn for Island Fun Nico. It's a very tropical feeling yarn. Just a lot of fun. So that's the five colorways to the Glam series. Let's pull out the last one. You can see these are quite bold and vibrant. And the first glitz were a lot more, um, they were softer toned down colors. Really fun. So I have those available on fingering weight base. And I also have some on bulky. This is my um, semi-sweet base and it's 76 yards to 100 grams, 80% um, superwash merino, 20% nylon and I think that just about every colorway I dye on this base looks amazing. It just looks so good on this base. I love it. And I have a hat knit on this base from this base. This one took about one and a half skeins or one and a third skeins. I've made a hat without any patterning, just stockinette stitch and not quite as deep with a single skein. Um, this was a sample knit by my sister Emily of Salt City Knits and it is the Winter Dreamer hat and it's just got so much beautiful texture to it and it is just warm and squishy. I love it. So last of all, I wanted to share in this um, shop news is that I also have mini skeins. So I have mini skein bundles. This is the Glitz bundle, which were the five colorways on the Crystalline Sparkle base. And the, and the Glam Bundle, which was on my Simple Syrup Non-Sparkle Base. And I also have Texture Mini Packs. Look at that. It's not all 10 colorways. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven colorways on different bases, different weights of yarn, and different textures so that you can sample them out, see what you like, get some fun textures and colors to add into your projects. And I have information about each base and colorway on the back. And these are a limited run. They will never be dyed again. They, it's just this one time only. And it's almost Halloween. I have only three skeins left of my Flying Cauldron sock set, which can be used any time of year, but it is really a fun one for Halloween. 
So I have three of those left. You don't want to miss those because they won't be coming back until next year. Thank you so much for joining me for the Shock Muse. Um, I hope to continue to share updates of what's happening in my shop because not everyone is on Instagram and not everyone gets their news there. So you can follow here to see what's coming up. And as always, you can go to candyshopyarns.com to see all the other fun, delicious, tasty confections that I have in my shop. I like to keep plenty of items stocked in there, including fun patterns. So head over to candyshopyarns.com and the link is in the description box below to do some shopping. Thank you so much. Have a good day.